I'm back! Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I have had a lot of really sweet messages from you guys asking about my videos and where I've been. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate you guys being a part of my community. Uh, if this is your first time ever finding my channel, welcome. My name is May. I'm a lawyer and entrepreneur and I make videos about all the things that I love. So um, today we're gonna have just like a chatty catch up. I wanna give you guys an update, share some of my favorite things and um, kind of let you know what's in store. All right, so let's do some just general updates. Um, first of all, I know that I haven't been making a lot of YouTube videos, but you guys know social media is funny, especially for those of us who don't do this um, as a job, like I just do this because I love it um, and I enjoy it, it's my hobby. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's funny. I mean, it just kind of has its ups and downs. Um, you know, I kind of go through phases. Sometimes I love one social media channel over another. I was really loving YouTube. It was where um, I kind of got my start. Um, but then things got frustrating, and so I just, you know, with the algorithm and all that stuff, and so I kind of moved away from YouTube um, and more to Instagram. Um, and lately, Facebook Live. Um, Instagram Stories and Facebook has made it so easy to share a video. Um, and it's just so much easier to pick up my phone and share something than have to kind of plan out and set up a camera and edit the video and all that stuff. So, um, you know, no complaints. I love YouTube and I love editing, but it's just been easier for me because things have been so hectic to kind of share um, over on Instagram Stories and Facebook Live. So if you're not following me on those two channels, um, definitely make sure that you follow me on Instagram um, and my Facebook page because, again, I have been doing a lot more live videos. I've been sharing tips on how to drink more water. Um, we did a Facebook Live of my face, my morning smoothie. So um, there's a lot of things happening over there. And then Instagram Stories, obviously, I'm on that all the time. I'm sharing so many cool things on Stories. Um, I know it goes away, but um, it's just like I said, easier. That's the bottom line. So definitely make sure that you connect with me over there. Um, but I am back to making YouTube videos. I'm feeling it again um, because Instagram's annoying and frustrating. <laughs> now um, the algorithm on Instagram I don't have to tell you guys this it's crazy it's making things really frustrating for content creators and influencers and um, you know my engagement rates are really low over there um, lower than when I had half of the following that I have now so I don't know what's going on anyway I've just kind of said whatever I'm sharing what I want when I want and I'm having a lot more fun on Instagram so join me there as well all right, now on to what I've been doing. So um, many of you know that I've been sharing um, some health and wellness tips and tricks with you guys. Um, I get asked all the time if I'm still a planner girl and definitely, absolutely, I still love planners. I still love organization. Um, I think that being organized helps you to clear your mental clutter and that in turn leads to a more um, healthy life and, and a better well-being for all of us. Um, I think our physical environment affects us and our mental as well so um, I'm definitely still planning and organizing I know I'm not sharing as much anymore but I feel like there kind of wasn't much more for me to share but I hear you guys I know that you want to see my planner set up I've been getting asked a lot about it especially as we're kind of getting closer to the end of the year so I want to tell you guys I have my new planner um, I know this is like a dinky little monthly monthly one but um, I have an entire um, system a whole setup with my monthly planner I'll show you guys how I'm using my phone and I'm also using um, another sugar paper LA calendar so I'll kind of show you guys how all of that works so um, after I'm finished filming this update I'm going to move into that so I'll film that and that'll probably be up like within the next few weeks and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm using my monthly and what I'm doing so stay tuned I know a lot of you have been asking me about that so planner updates and setups are coming soon um, okay the next like really exciting thing I want to tell you guys um, is actually about what I've been doing and you guys know that I've really kind of moved into health and wellness it's something that that um, has become a very important part of my life. So I can't share all the details yet, but I do wanna let you guys know that I've been um, training in a really incredible program um, that is going to allow me to um, give you guys a lot more information and share a lot more um, in a really educated and holistic and integrative way. So I can't wait to share the details with you guys. Um, this 
training and this program has been incredible. Um, I am so grateful that I was able to do it. Um, and I will have like an official announcement. I'll probably do a video um, to kind of tell you guys all about it, but um, get excited because there's gonna be a lot of really cool um, workshops and seminars and wellness summits and just um, a wealth of knowledge and information that I'm gonna be able to share with you guys. Um, like I said, in a really complete and holistic manner. Um, I believe in natural health and the ways of Eastern medicine as much as I believe in traditional um, MDs and, and Western as well. So I think there has to be a very balanced approach to both. Um, and I'm excited to kind of play my part in that um, picture as a whole. So I can't wait to tell you guys more details. I know it's kind of annoying, sorry, but I just wanted to tell you guys that this is something that I've been working on um, and I'm so excited to share more soon. All right, let's get into a few of my favorite things. So first off, I've been studying about um, the blood type diet and how you can eat certain foods that are more appropriate for your blood type. So I ordered this blood typing kit from Lucky Vitamin. I'll leave a link to my website down below because I have a coupon code that you guys can use. Um, I haven't done it yet because I'm kind of scared of needles, but um, I, well, I'm not scared of needles, but I'm scared of it, like doing it to myself like I have to poke myself um, I don't mind like giving blood if someone else is doing it anyway so um, I was thinking that maybe I could do this like on a Facebook live with you guys so let me know give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment if that's something you'd like to see or maybe I'll do the blood like I'll do the prick first and then um, I'll kind of show you guys on live how um, how the results come out and how it works but anyway you do this kit it's really affordable I think it was like ten dollars or something like that um, and then there is a book that goes along with it all about um, how you can eat right for your blood type. So like I said, I haven't done it yet, but I'm really, really fascinated by this. I believe that our bodies are all different. So it makes a lot of sense that um, different blood types would require different things for optimal well-being. So I think we need to eat a balanced diet. Um, but I think you know different people react differently to foods and nutrients. So anyway, I'm excited to do this So stay tuned for that and again um, check out Facebook live. I'll definitely share more about this on live um, Whether I do the blood test uh, on camera or not. I'm not sure so that's what I've been studying I also get a lot of questions about my favorite snacks or like cheats for healthy eating. Um, I obviously love sweets and chocolate, but I have tried my darndest to completely cut out um, like white sugar, refined sugars, added sugars, things like that. Um, I'm working on even kind of cutting out fruits that are higher in sugars. Um, just the more research I do on sugar, the more I just don't think it's a good thing for the body. But anyway, I will talk about that later. But of course, there's sometimes that you just want a piece of chocolate, right? And I love Reese's peanut butter cups, but I don't eat peanut butter. Um, that again is another discussion, but no peanut butter for me, but I do love almond butter and I've recently discovered coconut butter. So are you guys ready for this? The best treat ever. So these eating evolved coconut butter cups are going to revolutionize your life. First of all, let me read you the ingredients. There's literally five things in here. Organic coconut, organic cacao, organic coconut sugar, organic cacao butter, and organic peppermint oil. It's the best thing I've ever had. I'm obsessed with them. They come in different flavors. Eating Evolved is the best. So definitely check these out. If you're trying to eat a little bit more clean, but you still have a sweet tooth, I really believe Eating Evolved is the solution to all of your problems. I also get asked about probiotics a lot. Right now, I'm taking the Garden of Life raw probiotics. They also make an enzyme as well. Um, this is the one for women, but they make just a, a regular one. I like it so far. Um, I like this because they're live and you keep them in the refrigerator and I just feel like it's a little bit more potent. So um, it is a little bit more expensive. I get mine at Whole Foods. Um, but I believe that the things that you put in your body are worth the investment. So I've been really liking this so far. I haven't taken it long enough to know. You can also get these off Lucky Vitamin, which I do have a discount code for. Um, so yeah, I'll report back, but so far I've been taking these and really loving them. So another thing that I've been really into lately is essential oils. Well, I shouldn't say I've been into them. I've been trying to learn more about them. I honestly don't know. Um, I haven't read enough studies to know like how well they work on the body 
or the effect that they have on the brain or those kinds of things. I kind of hear, you know, here and there about how they how they impact the brain and how they're supposed to elevate our moods and those kinds of things, but I haven't done enough research. Um, but there are a few that I've been really enjoying. So. I've been using this doTERRA lavender um, at night. Sometimes I'll just like open the bottle and smell it and then like while I'm in bed. So it's not that I like put it anywhere. I just kind of, it just kind of helps to like decompress and get ready um, for sleep. So I've been really liking lavender. I also really love eucalyptus. So Equinox, um, the gym, has a eucalyptus steam room and I became obsessed with it. And so I was like, I have to recreate this at home. So um, if you, when you turn on the shower, if you put the water on super hot and let it start to steam, and then I have eucalyptus um, essential oils from Now Foods. I left it in my shower, so I can't show it to you guys, but any Anyway, I will just like drop a few drops in the shower and it recreates it. It smells amazing. It helps to just kind of like relax and rejuvenate. So I've been really loving eucalyptus. And then I've shared this with you guys before, but I love rose water. So this is just my own like little bottle that I got from the travel section at Target. And this is pure rose water. I have a video sharing where I get my rose water from, um, the whole process in my how to eat clean affordably. So I'll link that down below, but you can get this from any like international food store. And I use it in a variety of different ways. This is just the straight rose water that I put in a spritzer. And I carry this with me everywhere. So if I'm getting stressed out, I'll spray it on my face. At night before I go to bed, I will. Um, after a workout, it's great to just kind of refresh it's the perfect just all around really good all-purpose um, spray so this isn't exactly the essential oil from rose it, it is like a liquid um, but still I think it's the same concept so I think that's it I'm trying to think if there's any other updates that I wanted to tell you guys um, I've been getting asked a lot about my stickers and whether I'm going to be designing any more stickers um, as of now I don't have any plans to you can still purchase all of my designs um, but I'm kind of getting ready to redo everything and relaunch I'm building a new website so that will be out um, for sure at the beginning of 2018 but um, hopefully before and I'm just kind of like redoing everything of course we're all growing and evolving and I've been really cautious um, from the beginning of my social media life to you know not brown brand myself as one thing or another um, I just wanted to build a community where I could share um, about the things that I love and the things that I learn and um, to also interact with you all so that's been my purpose from day one um, and of course as I kind of grow and develop so will my content so yeah just some really fun good changes um, nothing really like drastic but well I don't know maybe it is a little bit drastic I think it's really exciting um, I can say that for sure um, it's definitely gonna be a shift but um, it's still all really great things and really great content and I'll still talk about planners I'm still gonna talk about wellness I'll still talk about fashion just everything I think that we have to live very balanced um, integrated holistic lives so um, yeah just all the aspects of my life um, I well, not all but most of the aspects of my life I will share with you guys um, I've just been noticing so much like weirdness on social media I don't know like planner girls that I used to follow of like gone off the deep end and you know health and wellness girls that I used to love or like getting these big egos now it's just I don't know it's a lot of weird things and I know that there are much more important things happening in the world right now um, there's a lot of obviously um, natural disasters and just shifts and changes in the world and uh, maybe social media is kind of following those same patterns and um, in a stage of like growing pains and change and while social media in the grand scheme of things is really not a big deal at all um, I do think that it can be a vehicle and a tool um, to kind of help reach people and build communities and it can be something positive so I hope that that's um, what I'm contributing to this space um, with the content that I create so anyway those are all my updates if I think of anything else I will um, either put it in the description box or again Facebook and Instagram is kind of where my party's at right now, but I'm back on YouTube. I'm creating um, more videos for you guys, so stay tuned. Please, if I could ask you just one thing, it's to engage with my content. If you're on Instagram, you may be following me, but you just kind of scroll on by. Um, I need you guys to like those pictures um, because that helps to um, get our, our 
content um, out to more people. And like this video and comment because if you guys don't engage, the algorithm, this ridiculous algorithm, um, will not pick up our content. So it's not enough to just be subscribed or follow anymore. You've got to really be engaged. I know, I'm sorry, it might seem like a lot that I'm asking of you guys, but um, really I do all of this just for you guys um, and just for a fun, um, creative place for us to all come together. So please, please engage, like my photos on Instagram, like this YouTube video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about one of the most important things. For the entire month of September, I ran a fall wellness retreat all digital online in my Facebook group, which was incredible. And I also got a chance to kind of take it live in person and hosted an event at Reebok LA. So, so many cool things happened in the month of September. I have a recap of the retreat that happened in person at Reebok LA. Um, I have a recap of that on my website. And then you can still join my Facebook group, Be Well by Maybe, you just have to search for that. Um, the B in Be Well is just the letter B. So Be Well by Maybe, just search that, you can join the group. So even though the retreat is over um, in the group, the content is all still there. It's still saved on Facebook. So you can go back through, there's so much incredible information in there, lots of great tips and resources um, on health and wellness four different areas. So definitely join the group, check it out. Um, I'm doing a giveaway for the members of the group. So if you weren't in there for the retreat, sorry, you might've missed that, but it's not too late um, to get a lot of great information. And the group will remain active. So just because the retreat is over, um, we're keeping the group open because that's um, the space I'm using for all of my health and wellness related things. So it's not too late, join the group, and there's a lot more cool things coming up for you guys. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this update. I missed you guys. It's actually was really fun for me to film and be in front of the camera. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, please give it a like, subscribe, um, come chat with me over on Instagram and Facebook. I'm so, so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again really soon. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.